hello everyone hope you are doing good today so today I am going to show you how you can generate JWT token using RSA algorithm in Java okay so in my last video I have already explained to you how you can generate a JWT token in Java using HS512 algorithm okay which is a, a symmetric algorithm but today I am going to show you using RSA algorithm which is a asymmetric algorithm so as I explained to you that uh, there are two type of algorithm available to generate a JWT token so one is HS512 and another one is uh, RS256 okay which is known as uh, RSA algorithm okay so RSA is a asymmetric algorithm so you need to create a private key and uh, using that private key you need to create a public key so that uh, public key will be a self signed public key but in your production environment you have to sign it from your uh, client or whatever system you have but today I am going to show you how you can do it in your local okay so these two commands you need to use to create private key and public key okay so you don't need to worry about it I will provide these two command in the description of this video okay so you see you can uh, generate uh, this private key if you have a JDK installed in your system so you just need to execute this command so let me explain you this command this is just a key tool command so it will generate a key fair and you need to provide this alias because uh, this in Java code you need to provide this alias so you need to remember it and then the algorithm so this is RS algorithm and you need to provide the validity period that is a uh, 365 days for me and type of uh, file that is uh, the key store with the extension so store type is apks12 so this is the extension and the key size okay so let me execute this so it's better to so I'm going to show you in Tommy okay so that's why I have created a folder inside uh, class path of uh, Tommy that is a configuration folder inside configuration folder I have created a new folder called JWT cert so here I am going to create the certificates that is a private key and public key okay so here it will ask you to provide a key store password so please try to remember it or write it down somewhere so for me I will provide test 1 2 3 4 okay test 1 2 3 4 and now it will ask you a few things so provide your first name and uh, last name and then it will provide your organization unit so try write whatever you want city locality Kolkata I will provide the West Bengal and then uh, country code for me it's India and uh, all this information are correct or not so yes so it's generated the uh, private key okay so here the private key so this private key you gonna use to generate the JWT token okay and uh, you should not share it with anyone otherwise anyone can generate uh, it and then they will push it to the server for uh, misuse okay you should uh, share the uh, public key so now I'm going to show you how you can generate the public key so this is the command is the same command so you have to use the alias also so you can use the same alias and then this is the private key you are using to generate the public key so this is the public key so this is the password for your private key okay so now the public key is already generated okay so I have already generated a private key and public key now I am going to show you how you can generate a JWT using your private key that is the RSA private key okay 
so in my last video I have uh, explained to you how you can generate JWT using uh, HS512 algorithm okay that is a symmetric key so this key is uh, used to generate the JWT and also this uh, key is used to validate the JWT also okay so now I am going to show you how you can generate it using RSA to 50 sec algorithm okay so here you have to use the private key to generate it and then the public key to validate it okay so here everything will be same okay you just need to add the header so here uh, and this is the class provided by the library so I have already explained it to you so these three library are used to generate the JWT in Java so these are called uh, J J uh, JWT that is uh, Java JWT API and uh, don't worry about those uh, dependencies you can download the source code from uh, github I will provide you the github link in the description of the video so here uh, the API name is login RSA it's just a name it uh, can be anything for you and uh, this is the class which uh, we are going to use to generate the JWT and uh, you have to define the algorithm and then there are three header information the type of uh, the token that is JWT the algorithm and you are providing a ID so this ID you can use to validate it and then the content as I have explained to you in my last video that uh, JWT, con uh, JWT contents uh, user claim and the technical data so these uh, claims are actual content where you can uh, put the user information and session ID and then uh, these are the technical data that is uh, the subject and the audience audience means uh, for whom you are creating this token and the issuer is uh, like uh, your project name or something so this audience and issuer will be also be used to validate the JWT token and then you have to provide the issue time and the expiration time so when you will validate it this time will be used if the JWT is expired then you can uh, throw an error to user and now the signing key okay so last time uh, is just uh, I mean uh, key so you just hard coded it in the Java code but here you have to get it from the file so this is my private key okay so it's just a file so I just uh, I'm just reading the file and then uh, creating a input stream and then passing it to the key store class so this is provided by Java security package so and then you just need to load it using the password and then you have to uh, create a key okay this is also provided by java.security so that key you need to create using the uh, private key file okay so here I am creating the key and then I am setting it in the my builder okay that's it and then you have, you have to uh, call this method compact it's the same as uh, before and then it will give you the JWT and which will be signed by uh, RSA algorithm okay so now uh, let me build this project so it's success now uh, let me deploy it in my Tommy server so this uh, is the private key and the public key but for the moment I am generating it so I will use only the private key now let me start my server So the server is started okay. So
so so this is my old method to generate the JWT using a HS512 algorithm which I explained to you in my last video but today I am going to show you using RSA so if you write the name of the API that is login RSA it will give you the JWT using a RSA private key okay so you see the JWT here now if you go to JWT.io you can uh, read the content So you see, here you can see the signature that is a RSA and uh, the content and this is the header as I explained to you and the content is uh, session ID, user ID and these are the technical data to validate the JWT. Okay. So that's all you guys. So this is the way you can uh, use to generate a JWT using a RSA algorithm and uh, which is asymmetric so you can create the JWT using uh, your private key and then uh, you can create a public key so that you, you will provide that public key to your client who needs to use your JWT to validate something okay so that you don't need to share your uh, public key with anyone but with a uh, HS512 you have only one key so if someone need to validate it you just need to share it with the, them so that uh, they can validate it but the disadvantage is that they can create the new JWT and then they can push it to the server for misuse okay so you should not use HS512 algorithm so try to use RSA algorithm to generate JWT so guys that's all for today's video thanks for watching and in my next video I am going to show you how you can validate uh, the JWT token generated uh, using RSA algorithm.